The Senate is set to vote tomorrow on the economic stimulus plan, a topic sure to dominate President Obama's first news conference this evening. Senior White House correspondent Bill Platt is in D.C. with more. Bill, good morning. Morning, Russ. The Senate version of the economic stimulus bill is probably going to pass tomorrow, but it has some major differences with the version the House passed with no Republican support. And that means that there could still be trouble ahead, and it means that the White House and the president are still playing offense. Larry Summers, head of the Council of Economic Advisors, says President Obama is open to compromise. There's certainly good ideas in both uh, versions, and we'll have to draw from uh, those ideas in creating an ultimate vehicle. The House version is $819 billion, and the Senate's is $827 billion. The House bill gives $40 billion to aid states struggling to pay their bills, help the Senate took away. The House version has $2.6 billion for a first-time homebuyer tax credit, but there's an income cap. The Senate version has $18.5 billion to give a credit to any home buyer, no matter how much they make. It's really important to do something quickly. On the other hand, you don't want to do the wrong thing either. And that's the problem. There is no agreement about what will work. And that's why the president is still in campaign mode. He's going to Elkhart, Indiana today to push this. And why Elkhart? Because when he was there in August, unemployment was a little over 8%. Now in Elkhart, it's over 15 percent, among the highest in the nation. So he'll make the pitch there, then come back here tonight and do it again in his first primetime news conference. Russ? Okay. Bill Plant at the White House. Thank you very much.